Hello siblings, this is your brother. Last weekend uh, Judy and I had an opportunity while returning home from Las Vegas to swing by and see our desert property. Well we did that and uh, it was our first time there. I took a few pictures and a few videos and so I decided to try to put together uh, this video to kind of give everybody an opportunity to to see this property, get an idea as to where it is and at the end, maybe I'll share some of my observations after you've seen the property in terms of some of the things um, I observed as, as we were out there and some of my thoughts on all this. But in any event, uh, here it is. This is not a professional production by any stretch of the imagination, but I uh, thought it would be sort of an interesting way to uh, share all of this, uh, uh, these pictures and videos with you guys. So anyways... Um, Enjoy. This is a Google map overview as to uh, mom and dad's property with respect to its location near uh, the nearest largest town, which of course is Barstow. Uh, their property is in the upper left. It is nested right up against three extremely large solar generating uh, energy stations. Uh, it's about uh, from Barstow to the Harper Lake Road turnoff is about 15 miles and you turn right on the Harper Lake and it is about another six or seven miles of a fairly well maintained dirt road. Mom and Dad's property uh, actually is right on that road as you'll see in the uh, upcoming video. Here we are, April 3rd, 2016. We're on Highway 15 coming back from Las Vegas, just ready to exit Highway 58 out of Barstow to visit Mom and Dad's desert property. Well, there's Highway 58. We're now making that transition and uh, basically this is pretty much what it looks like for about the next 15 miles. <clears throat> well, about uh, eight miles out of Barso, we do go through the town of Hinckley, which was made uh, infamous by Aaron Brockovich due to the groundwater contamination uh, put there by the gas company who was processing natural gas out there. So a uh, little bit of this video and off in the distance you see a lot of buildings. Most all those buildings in the town of Hinckley are vacant and pretty run down at this point. Um, it's hard to see that from the video but there's a little clip coming up of the town of Hinckley. Well, this is it. This is uh, the town of Hinckley, and uh, it's basically nothing more than a crossroad, and uh, pretty sad to see. A lot of rundown buildings. A few people live in there, but, but not too many. Well, another uh, Google map is uh, just kind of giving you a little bit clearer picture as to where mom and dad's property is with respect to the highway. Uh, shortly, we're going to turn off onto Harper Lake Road, and uh, you can see in the Google Map picture the, basically the magnitude of the solar energy as we get closer, uh, the proximity of mom and dad's property to, uh, to that power plant. Well, here we are at Harper Lake Road, and as we make this transition, you're going to see about oh, about 100 feet of really nice asphalt that quickly turns to dirt. Although uh, it is well maintained dirt road, it does it is the main service road for the solar energy plants, and again, it runs right adjacent uh, mom and dad's property. Um, so coming up, there's a, a few more different videos uh, along the way. You'll notice that if you look real close, you'll see the turtle fencing on the right. It's basically uh, uh, about a foot off the ground. It's like chicken wire, but they put that up to protect the land tortoise from getting run over by the trucks and so forth.
You'll notice a few residences on the left hand side of this road along the way. Most all of those are vacant, pretty run down. Um, there is some evidence of some really nice properties out there at one uh, point in time, as I'll point that out as we see it. Um, but again, uh, this particular house here, even though it looks like it's got some vehicles out front, it looks like vagrants are living in a ramshackle, rundown piece of property there. And uh, coming up, um, you're going to notice this property it looks very spacious, very nice, lots of beautiful trees in its day, but it is also vacant, unoccupied, and uh, run down. Um, shortly coming up, those two trees on the right, uh, those actually are just across the street from roughly where Dad's property starts. This house is also vacant. And I'm going to pause the video here in a few moments and uh, kind of give, give you some references to your bearings uh, uh, as we go. Okay, here is where I pause the video uh, just briefly. It's hard to see, but on the right up, up about a few hundred yards is the uh, kind of a rusty looking water tank. There's a dirt road right there that goes right. Um, Dad's property starts pretty much right in front of the car, goes up to that dirt road, and then it goes across to another road called Edie, Edie Road. And uh, in any event, as we resume the video, I'm going to continue driving forward. And uh, so I'll be Dad's properties on the right. I will make a right turn and take you all the way down that dirt road to Edie Road. So you'll kind of get an idea of the uh, width and depth of his 10 acres. But in any event, that's his property on the right. Well, it's our property now, I guess. But in uh, any event, uh, uh, we're going to get to the water tank, turn right. And that kind of give you an idea of, of how large this particular well, before, uh, before we resume the video itself, this now kind of gives you a better frame of reference as to where we are. You see the uh, red square, that's actually Dad's 10 acres. I'm, I'm basically, the last uh, video you just saw, I stopped the, or paused the video right in front of those two dark trees that you see uh, on the left of Dad's property. And I'm just about to approaching the dirt road, uh, which is the top of the red square. And I'm going to drive all the way to the other side and park the car where, at a point where all the few, uh, further videos and pictures are actually taken from. So in any event, this gives you a frame of reference at the very end of uh, Harper Lake Road. That's uh, uh, the solar energy plants. And on the other side of the picture point on the right, there's uh, the third one. So you can see Dad's property is kind of nested right up, right up in those solar energy plants. Well, I've just made the right-hand turn. This is an unmarked road. It's a dirt road. It's on Dad's property, it appears. Uh, his property is all of that on the right. Uh, if you look way off in the distance, you would see what appears to be a telephone pole at the end of this dirt road. Um, from that telephone pole to the telephone pole on its immediate right, that's roughly the width of this piece of property. So you get a feeling for the depth uh, by virtue of, of uh, this video. Is, it's all on the right as we go along. And then when you finally get up to the telephone pole, you kind of get a feel for the depth of it.
got one on each, each side. I know, but maybe he said no, and somebody said it in it anyway. Well, I'm out of the car now. Uh, we're stopped at the corner of the dirt road and uh, Edy Road. That's the Edy Road on the left, looking south, the way, uh, basically the direction we had come from. I'm kind of panning uh, in the video across Dad's property. Uh, again, those double trees over there, and then the structures to the left are kind of roughly uh, the width of Dad's property. That is the dirt road right there that we just drove up, so we're looking back down it. And as we pan around, as it's, it's Really not too impressive in the video, but to uh, be standing there, the solar generating complexes are quite extensive. And uh, uh, frankly, they're very noisy as well. They're, uh, I'm not sure what we're hearing. I don't know if it's a steam turbine or compressed air blowing, but it's uh, not obnoxiously loud, but uh, for out in the desert is a very noticeable uh, sound. That is a residence on kind of diagonally opposite Dad's property, and there are some people living there. And then looking uh, east, if you will, I believe that's east. Uh, that is the uh, the last bit of uh, of the solar energy uh, plant. Uh, looking across a, a, another field, and this dirt road is actually Edie Road. It's one of the two. I'm sorry, one of the three roads that parallels that prop as property. There's Harper Lake. There's a dirt road we came down, and then this is Edie Road on the other side. Well, this is, uh, I think this is the last video. It's uh, kind of a panorama of Dad's property. That's uh, my buddy Bob and his wife, also Judy, uh, went with us to Vegas, and they're out there admiring our uh, Rasmussen family compound, um, trying to talk him into buying it. We'll see how that works out. Anyway, it's just kind of a 360-degree perspective of uh, the terrain out there and uh so forth. Right after this, there's a series of pictures. I'll just let you kind of look at those yourself, and then the tail end, I'll kind of wrap things up. Well, there you have it. Um, both Judy and I were really glad we uh, had the opportunity to go out there and actually physically see the property, hopefully through these uh, videos and photographs and brief narrative. You, you kind of got the same feeling that, that I got. At least you got an opportunity to see uh, the property that we all own, own jointly. Um, I kind of left uh, feeling a little reaffirmed as to what it really is. Uh, quite frankly, it's zone residential. 
There's about a half dozen residences out there and they're all essentially abandoned uh, with the exception of one immediately adjacent dad's property and then another small one just down Edie Road. Beyond that, uh, we did see some vagrants living in some of the abandoned homes, um, but it's, it's basically kind of depressing. Um, I was surprised the solar energy plants, uh, they're very clean, very impressive, but at the same time, they're a little bit noisy. Um, I don't know that I would want to live around that. It's, it's basically it's like living next door to a, a gas turbine. Um, if you've ever heard one of those, it's pretty loud. You're a distance away. Uh, you're about 40 acres away. I'm not sure how many feet that is. In the video, it looks quite far, but I would guess it to be about the length of a couple football fields is all. And uh, you're kind of surrounded on, on two sides. Uh, to get there through the town of Hinckley, it's more of the same. A lot of things that have obviously been for sale for a long time. Uh, quite a few of the, the majority of the, the dwellings are abandoned. Um, the for sale sites, some of those have already dilapidated and fallen down themselves. And it just kind of confirms uh, what the realtor told me, that basically they, they haven't had a sale in those areas out there in many years. It uh, doesn't surprise me. I uh, kind of kind of not sure where to go with this, uh, but in any event, I just thought you guys might enjoy seeing uh, firsthand uh, what we got to see, and and hopefully this uh, this video works well for you guys as well. So in any event, that's it, and um, love you guys, and uh, isn't it great owning property together? Uh, I'm sure we all got great plans for it. So in any event, take care, and we'll talk to you soon.